If you made a resolution to get control of your finances in 2018, personal finance expert Rubina Ahmed Haq has got you covered. She's here this morning to offer her tips on how to save more, spend less, and invest better in the new year. Rubina, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. So as they say, you know, let's start at the beginning. Yeah. What is the beginning for people who want to get their finances in order? The first thing you have to do is you got to get real about the debt, right? And not just the holiday debt. We know we spent about $1,500 each mm -hmm. on the holidays, but also that debt you've been carrying yeah. from before on the credit card, on the line of credit. So get real about that. Write it all down. Find your number. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is, how ugly it is, find it out and then make a plan to pay it down. So whether it's going to take you five months or six months or seven months, you got to figure out how you're going to get that debt paid down and then start making some plans to, you know, do other things with that money, invest it, save it for other things. But the debt is the first thing you want to get, uh, deal with. Okay, so tackle the debt. Now, once once we have that in mind and we we, we can see it, yes. and we can attack it. What's the next step? What if people want to? What if people want to save this year? Well, the first thing you want to do is get that debt paid down from highest to lowest interest mm -hmm. rate. Okay. And the savings part, once you've got that under control, uh, start thinking about retirement savings. So you want to be putting about 10% of your after-tax income away into an RRSP. Mm -hmm. This is the classic advice I've been giving for, I don't know, 100 <laughs> years now, yeah. right? And then if you can, up your savings by 5 to 15%. Put some money into an emergency savings account. My advice always is, is that if the bottom fell out, you lost your job, you couldn't make money, mm -hmm. you could survive for three months without any uh, extra income coming in without you know getting into a really big financial problem so see if you can um, find some extra money to put that money away too now you know th the world changes trends come and they go what are some of the big financial trends that we should be paying attention to this year I think Bitcoin and cryptocurrency we've got to pay attention to this I don't have any advice on whether you should invest in right. it or not and my best advice is if you're interested in Bitcoin why not invest in cryptocurrency so the you know the cryptocurrency is the actual currency Bitcoin is one type of it right. so find companies that are developing solutions on how you and I are going to use it um, practically in our lives at the you know the point of sale or online find way companies that are doing that because no matter which company rises to the top which cryptocurrency we use if we're invested in the companies that are helping us make it easier to use it then we're going to do a little bit better okay so someone has just tuned in they are yes. panicking because <laughs> they feel that mountain of debt that's going to be coming on their next credit card bills they, they they're, they're carrying a little bit of debt they've got kids in school they've got to look forward to you know university tuition and you know, they might want to fix up their house they've got a lot on their plate yes what do you tell them in order to cut through that that noise to calm down and to focus what would that that piece of advice be my best advice is you know if you feel like your spending is out of control keep a journal for three months so write everything down that you will be spending for three months to see where y the extra spending is happening is it on the lunches every afternoon is it on the parking that you have is it because you know you're going to the mall every couple of days you know every time you step into a mall you spend about a hundred bucks that's what research really? shows us so don't go to the mall don't go to the mall just <laughs> but the act of not going to the mall will Saves probably you money. save you a hundred dollars <laughs> so if you write everything down I'm not a big believer in budgeting and writing everything down forever mm. but do it for the short term just to see where it's happening just so you can find out where can I really cut back and find that extra money to pay that debt down. so it's, it's not just about making the resolution it's yes. about taking the steps to make sure that the resolution sticks and I think you got to be specific in your resolution I mean if it's just save more money or be better at you know financial planning that's too broad mm. you've got to be like I'm going to get this bill paid down by March. That's my New Year's resolution. Or I'm going to make sure my line of credit's at zero by the summer. So be a little bit more specific so that your goal is actually something that, you know, you can attain. And when you, once you get there, you can say, okay, I did that. Rather than, I'm just going to be better at saving yeah. money. Because that's just so vague and so big. You know, when people go on diets and when they try to improve their, their personal health, they give themselves a cheat day every now and then. Yes. Is it the same in the world of finance? <laughs> I think so. I mean, if you're doing well, like say, say you know, a lot of people take January January off and not you know eat well and mm -hmm. don't drink and just kind of get back into sure. you know, a normal you kind of the living. pressure every now and then. exactly so you can do that with your finances too but then have a day maybe at the end of January where you go out for dinner and you do spend a little bit more on whatever it is that you want to be spending on um, so you feel good about the fact that you know I didn't spend all month but I on the third myself. I rewarded myself and if you look for, you know isn't half the journey getting there so you're looking forward to that big restaurant that big night out with your the ones you love or your friends and family and just don't just don't go every other day. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Rubina, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Ben. All the best. Good luck in 2018. Thanks, same to you.